about a year and uh, it's been exciting. Uh, it's been my first year here as CEO of Networks and, and as a resident of Northeast Tennessee. And, uh, you know, to look back, you don't think about it while you're going through the year. But when you take a, a look at an annual report and review, you realize, wow, there's a lot of things we've done the last 12 months. And then you look at what's on the horizon, and this is what's really exciting because the past is the past. But you look at what's on the horizon and, and what 2015 could and should be like, and it's, it's overwhelming. So we try not to be overwhelmed by it. We try to be uh, uh, inspired by it. I think it's been a, 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 a bit of a, a critical year for us. Um, and I, by that I mean we really made a lot of headway this year in establishing who we are at Networks and what we are as a county and made a statement. And that statement is that we are an incredibly solid uh, manufacturing front office distribution uh, uh, potential location for companies. We are a strong place to do economic development. And from Network's perspective, I think we made a statement and we are a legitimate top of the line uh, professional economic development organization and that was my message to my board at our annual meeting you know we, we're doing what the top economic development organizations do if you want to be viewed that way you have to do certain things uh, having a red carpet tour with nine site location consultants uh, that were handpicked by us as the top that we wanted to appeal to uh, come in having six members of the ECD from Nashville come up to be a part of that. You know, we talk about everything's going on in Nashville. You know, Nashville's been a booming uh, part of the state for a few years now. Well, do what they do. You know, they make that investment in, in spreading their brand, spreading their message, having people come in to see their product. And that's what we've done this year, and we're gonna to continue to do it because we've got a product that can compare to anybody. You know, we're not all things to all people, but we are an outstanding place to do business. And we are also from a community who we are, what makes us us is that we are a community that has a history of investing in community and economic development endeavors that would support industrial growth and manufacturing growth and, and, and all types of economic development, all types of business growth. And that's our message, that's our brand. Uh, our brand, our, our, our tagline is that we are where Tennessee begins its business day. We have been doing things in Northeast Tennessee that have led to other, other programs throughout the state and potentially now throughout the nation uh, for many years. And we need to get that message out because when companies and site location consultants start looking at a community, they want to know what's going to happen once we're here. What's it going to be like? And we have a history of showing well, what it's going to be like here is we are going to be developing the programs that make our businesses successful. And so it's supporting and, and that message with facts, with bullet points, and we have a bunch of them. And, and uh, you know, I, I think our future is bright. I think we are... Uh, truly going to be the next big thing. For the most part, my experience has been that we don't have a negative perception. We just don't have an identity with most people. Now, people do have whatever comes to their mind when they hear words like Appalachia, when they hear words like Southeast. You know, there are some preconceived notions and, and, and primarily mostly misperceptions. Um, if nobody's been here, then it's probably a misperception. Um, but overall, when you look at Tri-Cities, when you look at Kingsport, Bristol, Sullivan County, it's more of, it's more of a lack of awareness, and, and, and that's a good place to start because there's not, uh, there's not something you have to overcome. You just have to start at, a, at, at ground zero. And then we tell our story. And when we tell our story, we have a lot of things that impress people, surprise people, maybe because of some of those uh, preconceived notions about Southeast, um, but 
Um, but no, I, I, and, and once we get people on the ground and seeing this, I mean, we work with people from all over the country and from other countries, uh, working with a Canadian group right now that have fallen in love with this place. And, and so it, it's, uh, and we've done that with many. Now you don't always get the projects, but you do, it's still an opportunity to make a positive impression and continue to build that brand. And, and uh, so our area, uh, while not perfect, our, our area is a great area and a great place. It's a warm, welcoming, uh, fantastic place to be. You just gotta get people on the ground so they can see it for themselves. Uh, before I came up here, uh, I didn't realize uh, what an incredibly uh, fantastic airport we had. I knew we had an airport, but I didn't know we had this level of airport. I didn't know the airport had this level of leadership that it has and how great the aeronautics park is. Just the whole overall, I would say, airport is a tangible thing, which what a great asset, what a great thing for us to focus on and to sell and to partner. Um, but the broader picture has been overall, and the airport's an example of that since it was a regional cooperative effort to even have this airport is the leadership that we have here. Uh, the people I met with in the interviews, I, I was impressed with them all. Well, obviously I came. Mm -hmm. um, but then you start working with them day and day, and you know what you hoped you perceived to be right turns out to be right, but then it's even better than you perceived it to be. Um, we've got some really great forward-thinking people. They work well together. Uh, within our meetings with our network leadership, and that includes all the mayors here and a bunch of people from the private sector as well, uh, and other elected officials. You know, we in our power companies, you know, BTS being a great partner, we don't always agree on everything, but we hash it out, we talk about it. It's intelligent, good dialogue that leads to a consensus that leads to doing what's right. And, and people, by and large, uh, they, they walk out of the room with the consensus. You know, if they were on the opposite side, but they, they will open their ears and their eyes and listen to other points of view and do what's best for us as a region. And uh, the, the leadership has just, just so impressed me. Being in a right-to-work state is way better than being in a non-right-to-work state, first and foremost. But it doesn't guarantee anything from a community. If there's a community's culture, which is a high level of unionization, then you have an issue. And there are some communities, uh, probably not as many, if you, but some communities in non-right-to-work states that have no union activity, and, and, and that's fine. Uh, if you do have union activity, you for darn sure need to be in a right-to-work state, though. It's always better to be in one. But when you do the deep dive, and that opens the door to look at, but, but to look at our community specifically, they're not going to say, what well, Tennessee is blank percent union, and they have these laws. They're going to look at Bristol, Tri-Cities, Northeast Tennessee. And the more you deep down, particularly in Sullivan County, there just is not a union presence. What unions are there, then they look at the few unions that we do have, there aren't a lot of work stoppages. They're, they're, it's a friendly relationship. So you don't have the need for that. But you also have a culture, you know, again, speaking of our culture, we have a culture of independence, of pioneering spirit. We have uh, of, of, I will deal with you one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, we will get these things ironed out. It's not a union mentality. It's, it's not a part of the union culture. Um, and, and we don't have people out looking for the union. We have people who want to talk and work with their employers. And if you're a good employer and you have good management, then you're not going to have organization issues here. It's just the culture. I just say I think it's been a great year establishing the partnerships, the friendships. It, on, on some, some mornings I wake up and think, uh, I've already been here a year, you know, because it kind of flew by. It was so much going on. But most days I feel like it's only been a year because I just feel so welcome from the day I got here. I feel so much a part of the community. It, it's just been such a good fit for me, uh, speaking on a personal level. And on a professional level, working with this leadership, working with people at, at our cities, within our cities, all of our partners, with the TVA representatives, with the uh, BTES, with AP and Kingsport, 
all the people we have here are just, they're just such a high quality and they are so committed to this community and these communities. And there's no reason, there, there's no wondering why. It's a great place to be. It's easy to become committed to the communities here because it's so great. So it's just truly been, I've told my board this a, a, a few times, it, it, it's been the most gratifying uh, year of my professional life. And it just makes me so look forward to the years to come. Thank you.